Last week, we left off as we said goodbye to the incredible staff here at PDP Marina after almost three months here in St. Martin while Ryan was off being a TV star. Sort of. This week, it's finally time to throw off the lines as we continue our journey up to the Bahamas and across to the east coast of the U.S. in time for hurricane season. All right, guys, so we've said goodbye to everybody at the marina. We're so sad to be leaving. It feels like it's become home, which has been so nice. It's like home away from home. And they've taken such good care of us, so it's really sad to leave, but we're super excited to get moving again. And the marina guys are here now to get us off, so we're gonna head up now. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. <laughs> God, it feels weird to be moving again. All right, Ryan, we're out. Yeah. Jackson, you're free. No, I get it. Bye. All right, guys, so now we're out of the marina and we're basically waiting in line to go through the Simpson Bay Bridge, which takes us out of the lagoon and into open ocean again. the lagoon on anchor now and straight back into work so Ryan's spending his time trying to find our bosun's chair because he needs to get hoisted up the mast to fix our jammed mainsail which we forgot was jammed on the way in and we left it I'm currently wrapping up all of our lines that we had obviously in the marina and isn't life just dandy I think what we're going to do is once Ryan finds the bosun's chair, he's going to go up the mast, try and get, we're going to work out this uh, jam mainsail, tidy up the lines. I'm going to do some food prep. I'm going to cook a meal so that whenever we decide to leave to go to BVI's, we've got food prep. And then basically we're just going to sit here and wait till we decide we want to go, which could be in an hour. It could be in four hours. It could be in 12 hours. Who knows? Wish Ryan luck finally the bosun's chair. All right, guys, Ryan found the bosun's chair, so he's all strapped in and he's ready to go up the mast. Ready to rock, Karachi. up a little bit. Pull me up. Leave it there for a sec. Alright, just a little bit of TLC but I think I think we got it out. You alright? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's pull it all the way out before I go down and just double check it. And then just be gentle, bring it out. This is my little bit of serenity up here, eh guys? <laughs> Been working flat out for the last uh, week getting the boat ready. I've done so much stuff that this is the only time I've sat around up here on the mast. And that boat behind us over there thought we anchored too close to them. Jackson! Jackson, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, boy! How are you going down there, sexy legs? Alright, let's go! Pull this bad boy out and see what she's made of.
Yeah. Done. All right. All right, that's good. Lock it off. All right, guys, I think we're all sweet. Let's get the sail in. And then I'm going back down, so I'm going to put the camera away. All right, you all good? Let's put this, this sail away before we sail away. Look. <laughs> we're sailing. All right, put the camera away, guys. I'm going down. Whoa. I'm letting Ryan down now. He's complaining that I'm hurting his balls, but I feel like it can't get any smoother than this. Literally couldn't get any smoother. Let's do five. I don't even know what to do. All right. Mm. Mm, yeah, you like that? All right, guys, so now we're back on anchor. We've got the mainsail unjammed, which was actually quite easy, which is good. Uh, Ryan's got the water maker running right now to flush out the pickling solution that we put in it when we first put the boat in the marina. So that's running right now and the sun's about to go down. So I'm gonna do my last little bit of food prep. It's only a 16 hour sail, maybe 18 hour sail max. There's not a lot of wind out there tomorrow so it's probably gonna be pretty slow moving. I, in the past, used to get really seasick so I've learned a few tips and tricks along the way to avoid it completely and one of them is having to go down into the galley and cook for too long when we're on passage. So I meal prep everything, no matter how big or small the sail is, I like to have food ready to go. Guess what? The water maker is going. So we cleaned and pickled the water maker while I was away and we just got it running again and we're pumping out 101 ppm. 101. So it must have just been dirty. That's why we're getting 170 last time. Yeah, 170 <laughs> is still really good. So if you guys don't know, anything below 500 is is good and safe to drink as a water maker. So um, once it hits about 500 ppm, that's when you should change your filters. We were at about 170, 180. Since we've cleaned it, we're back down to 100. You're hijacking my cooking show. All right, I'm gonna turn the generator off. I've got ground chicken and I saw a recipe the other day of people making dumplings using rice paper rolls. So I'm gonna try it today. All right, so I've got ground ginger, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, parsley flakes, soy sauce, sriracha. I would normally put sesame oil in. That's like one of the most important ones, but I don't have sesame oil at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to make do. All right, everybody wish me luck. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and I was gonna shred like carrot and cabbage and stuff into this, but Ryan, the captain, mister, just came down and said that he thinks we might leave like now. So we're gonna make do with what we have. I feel like I nailed my first one, so I'm off to a good start. They're actually more like spring rolls, but they look wicked. How good do those look? This is totally an experiment. The air fryer is an experiment, and so is these whatever they want to call them, dumplings spring rolls, whatever. So let's see how we go with them. Oh. Ooh. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got no internet. The guys behind us let me check the weather, which is pretty cool, but I've got to do my sail clear, which is a form you do online, going to some of these countries where you've got to actually upload all your information, give you time of arrival. So then they're all organized when you get there, but they never are organized. They're always like, oh, did you do your sail clear? And then they make you fill out all the paperwork again anyway. Um, I'm expecting that the BVIs might be a bit more on top of it. So I'm going to do our sail clear. I'll go online at the pub right now, fill that out, send the form off, jump back on the boat and um, I think we might leave tonight because it's going to be a slow sail. We should get there in like 13 hours normally, 12, 13, 14 hours, but I think because it's low winds behind us, we've got about 14, 15 knots behind us, we should take maybe about 17, 18 hours. So if we leave tonight, we'll go through the night, we should get there tomorrow lunchtime. You happy with that, Brittany? We're gonna sail through the night. We've got the main unjammed, we've got the new furl, we've got the new furling line. Uh, we've got the new head sail furling line. So yeah, all the lines are washed and cleaned. The cockpit's clean. 
Let's go. Oh, before I go, actually, Brittany, you're cooking down there? Yes. Brittany's cooking down there. Check it out. What are you doing? You're filming yourself cooking some food. I'm making fake spring rolls <laughs> in the air fryer. Uh, so that's going to be dinner tonight. So anyway, I'm going to whip over to the, the yacht club and use their internet. Fill this form out, pick up anchor and sail. Our first sail uh, back into the season, even though we're just running into hurricane season right now. <laughs> We've got a few months of the season left, so we should be sweet. All right, so we're gonna head into the Yacht Club now. It's just at sunset. Go do our sail clear. Maybe have one drink just to celebrate being back on anchor. And then we're gonna head to BVI's. Alright, you ready, sexy legs? What do you think the sail's gonna be like tonight? It's gonna be a steady 14 to 15 knots on our 120 behind us, so we'll get the two sails out, we'll cruise uh, all the way over the BVIs. We should have a few gusts, about 18 knots apparently, no rain, no clouds, no squalls, and we'll have about one half meter swell, 10 seconds apart. You sound like the weatherman. I know, pretty good, huh? Got it all down pat. Let's turn these lights off, let's get our eyes adjusted to the darkness. Let's put our motoring lights on, and the radar's on, navigation's on, let's go. Hey, buddy. Let's go ahead and see. Kisses. How do you think spicy for Jackson, hey? Oh. oh my god, they're way too spicy. You got a whole lot of your boobs. <laughs> Pretty cruisy night. It's been pretty much like this whole night. We haven't touched the sails. We haven't changed direction. We've just been cruised along with the swell behind us, the wind behind us, going between five and eight knots, I reckon. Probably averaging about six and a half knots. So we're almost there. It should be about 13 hours, I think. We might slow down because the wind's gonna die down as we get closer, so we might end up being a bit longer, but so far we'll be about 12 or 13 hours sail. Pretty good timing, been a pretty good trip. I'm so tired. Brittany's in asleep right now. I got to see this beautiful sunset behind me. Sunrise, that's how tired I am. I can't even say it right, sunrise. About 6 a.m. Oh, beautiful, beautiful first sail back though. I can see the island, or one of the islands. Let's see if uh, you guys can see it. Straight ahead there. Okay, let's 
Uh, you got this bad boy that's just passed behind us about one nautical mile away. Uh, this is the cockpit. Got some lines on the ground there. Some garbage. that there and Jackson can eat the rest of that oh so I was gonna oh hey mate how you going buddy you already know what said don't you Epic sail, low wind, low swell. A little rocky, but can't complain. Only because the swell's coming from my back quarter, but real good. It's gonna be nice cruising again. We have just an exciting few months ahead. So much has happened, stuff back home. Uh, being here now our future plans, where we're heading to, what we're doing. It's going to be an adventure, guys. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to follow the journey. Hey, buddy. Hey, good boy. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.